hi everyone thank you for tuning in thank you for coming back thank you for watching my videos you are highly welcome in case you are new here this is a concept where we dish out a well detailed tutorial for the benefit of the newbies in case you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly do so by pressing the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for new videos I want to use this medium to appreciate you all for your good wishes towards my holiday break thank you i love you all in today's tutorial we shall be making this beautiful dress on your screen it's going to be a beautiful one when i tell you it is going to be just believe me all you have to do is relax okay and watch the magic we're about to make this is the fabric we shall be working with into this tutorial all together here i have four years of fabric and this is african prints on my table i've placed my pattern paper on fold if you are using your fabric directly you place it on fold as well you might be wondering how do i know the quantity of fabric to place on fold make it easier after dividing the biggest part of your body into four you had four inches to eat with that you won't have problem running out of fabric okay to determine the length of my dress the length of my dress for this tutorial is a uh, 42 inches 42 inches then the half length from that 42 inches the half length is 17 inches that is the measurement from the shoulder line to my waistline okay this is it 17 then i added one inch for allowance on the waistline making 18 inches now from this folded edge i mark in the zipper allowance okay i'll be using this pattern paper to cut both the front piece and the back piece together from this folded edge i went in by one and a half inches if you are using a stretchy fabric you don't need to add zipper okay but being that this is a, a, a cotton okay that is why i'm adding a zipper allowance so all together here for my zipper allowance is one and a half inches for us not to get confused i'll fold it in first the first thing is my neck width my neck width for this tutorial i want it to be four inches after making the dress in that case from this folded edge i went in by three and a half okay then after turning it i will arrive at a four inches okay why for the front neck depth from the shoulder line, I went down by 5 inches, okay? For the back depth, I went down by 1 inch for standard, okay? So that is all about the neckline. For the sleeve length, I've made a series of video where I call this particular style, okay? But I will go over it again in the simplest form, okay? So all you have to do if you are cutting the shoulder and the sleeve together, just divide your shoulder line into two equal parts for instance mine is 16 inches divided by two that will be eight inches eight plus eight that will be 16 inches again then i added extra one and a half inches for allowance making 17 and a half this is it it stops here now from where i have the sleeve length where this 17 and a half stop i went down from the shoulder line here by two inches okay this is it then i form my shoulder slope from the neckline i drew it down to where i went down by two inches this is it now for the round sleeve my round sleeve is 18 inches 18 divided by two that will be nine inches this is it then i added one and a half inches allowance making ten and a half from where the shoulder slope stop i went down by ten and a half inches then i will connect it together from my waistline from where the waistline stop place the one quarter of my waist circumference from the folded edge 11 inches plus one inch allowance making 12 inches plus another one inch because i'll be slanting the neckline okay so that one inch is going to cover it up all together making 13 inches this is it okay then i'll connect it to the allowance this is it so from this part where the sleeve run sleeve stop 
okay i went in by one and a half inches i will roll it in one and a half then use my pattern master you can use your free hand if you don't have pattern master then curve it and connect it to the waistline like this so that's all about the half length now okay so the next thing now is to cut it out but before then let me mark out the one inch i added to the sleeve that's it now i'll go ahead now and cut out the back piece and when i say back piece i will cut out the back neckline first then cut out the body place it on my fabric and cut out the back piece then later i will now cut out the front piece okay i've cut out the back piece now i'll set it aside and place the front piece right for the front piece since the front is going to be overlapping i'll be cutting out two pieces of the front part okay in that case i will place my fabric like this fold it into two equal parts then fold it into four equal parts so after placing it on fold i have four pieces is it one two three four okay this part will be my folded edge then I will take my pattern paper, I will fold the zipper allowance inside, then place it. After securing with my pins now, I will go ahead and cut it out. I will cut out the neckline. After cutting it, I have two pieces for the front piece. This is it. So I will open it up, right side facing each other. After placing both the front piece together, I mean the two pieces for the front piece, right side facing each other, I've also placed my pattern paper on it. Okay, remember I had a zipper allowance. This is it. I folded it up. Now the next thing is to cut out the overlapping. To do that, from my left hand side, from the waistline, go up by four inches, somewhere here towards the side seam. Okay this is it please ignore the first one this is it now from the neckline on the corner here okay i'll just mark it down and connect it to the four inches i made on this part okay so this is it just blend it right that's how i'm gonna cut it so i'll take it from this four inches i marked from my left hand side i'll take it after cutting this how it's looking now this part will become rubbish then i'll set it aside i'll have this part left then go ahead and turn it this way and overlap it make sure the side seam blends together center to center okay remember to notch the front piece before you start cutting the midpoint okay so this is it now i hope you can see it very well this is it this is what I have, then overlap it. This is what I mean when I was cutting it. So by the time I hem it this side in, I will have my neckline back four inches. So that is Quite it. Well, the skirt is very simple. The first thing to consider is to take the full measurement of the dress that is from the shoulder line to the knee line or to where the skirt is going to stop on your body okay so mine is 42 inches from my shoulder line to my knee line is 42 inches my half length is 17 inches 42 minus 17 that will be 25 inches 
So from my waistline to my knee line now will be 25 inches for the skirt. So from my knee line down, okay, I will be adding some inches to it to form the asymmetrical shape. That is the pointed part of it, okay? In that case, I'll be adding 10 inches, okay? 10 plus 25, that will be 35 inches, plus 2 inches allowance, that will be 37 inches, okay? All you have to do is to cut out a square shape fabric, okay? And to cut it out, for instance, what I did, I measure 45 inches by 45 inches. I use the length of the fabric, okay? For instance, African print comes by six inches by 45 inches, okay? So 45 inches by width and 45 inches by length, okay? After cutting it out, you should have something like this. All the size must be equal, okay? With this, you'll be able to have equal folds when you place it on fold so the next thing is to place it on fold you place it like this into two equal parts and when you are done you have this shape here okay exactly what i'll be doing on my fabric this is it i've placed it so the next thing is to determine the one quarter of my waist circumference exactly what i did on the half length okay so on the half length i measured 13 inches including the allowance same thing i will be doing here so from this folded edge i will go in by 13 inches wherever i have 13 inches i will mark it okay this is it then from this pointed edge i will measure down whatever i have from here down to the 13 inches i have 18 inches so I'll take it round, okay? You can do it, you can just mark it straight away, but I like marking it this way so that I will have that a, a over like shape on the waistline. So I will take it round 18 inches. This is it now, I form the shape. Then I will take it up a bit, I measure down my skirt length from my waistline to my knee line is 27 inches this is it somewhere here then from the folded edge here I will mark down the whole total length of the skirt which is 37 inches including the asymmetrical shape okay remember I added 10 inches to the so the knee length of the, the waistline here i will mark down 37 inches for the asymmetrical shape then i will connect it to the 27 this is it 27 i will mark it and connect it to the 37 so that is it it should be 25 but i had it two inches here making 27 then from the waistline the asymmetrical one full length will be 37 inches okay so this is it i'll go ahead and cut, cut out the waistline first this is it after cutting it you see so this is the waistline i'll place it on the other piece and cut out the back piece for the back Remember to add your zipper. Me, I've calculated the zipper allowance together with it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and uh, cut it now. And I will slit the back open, then notch the center part. I'll be adding belts to this dress, and all together here by width, I have four and a half inches. The half inch will be for joining it together. By length, I have 110 inches. In order not to rack your brain, all you have to do, just multiply your waist circumference by two inches or by two and a half inches. Okay? Right. The next thing is to couple the dress together. To couple the dress together, the first thing, I will place the back piece. I'll place it on my working table. 
remember i had a zip allowance to eat and i used my pin i've used my pin to hold it together the zipper allowance the wrong side facing my table this is the right side the next thing is to take the front piece and spread it on it right side facing each other you place it center to center this is the one side of the overlapping and this is the other side of the overlapping center to center after securing with my pins the next thing is to join it together so i will take it my sewing machine from the shoulder line here i will take it half an inch and stitch it and stop on the sleeve here same thing on the other side then after that i will open it up and use my bias binding to turn up the edge i will take it from the from the overlapping i will take it from this edge i will take it across the neckline and take it back to the inner overlapping okay after turning the neckline with bias strip this is how it's looking this is it open it up like this then later flip the first side of the overlapping inside then flip the other side on it okay then the next thing is to join the side seam then turn in the sleeve the head of the sleeve when joining the side seam i will leave one inch away to the waistline this one inch will be for joining the half length to the skirt then later i will tighten it up okay so that is all about it it's very simple I'll go and do that right away, like I've explained earlier on, exactly what I'll be doing. So, okay. after that, I will now take it back to my table, then join the side seam, one inch, same thing on the other side. Then after joining it, I will set it aside. Then so take after this. joining the side seam together, I will now take the front piece of the skirts, right side facing each other. I'll open it up then align it center to center remember to notch the midpoint of the skates okay so this is it i will align it then stitch it together until i get to the other side seam so if you have excess after attaching it together on the midpoint you can cut it off or you can form pleats if you want same thing okay. on this side then to the back i will now flip it to the back then take the back piece for the back piece skirt i have two pieces i will take the first side remember the longest part of the skirt will be on the zipper line okay so i will now take it right side facing each other too center to center you align it you can as well join the zipper line together the same way i did for the blouse okay so that will make it easier so i will align it center to center and then stitch it across on the waistline i will also take the second piece of the back skirt then align it as well then run my stitch across okay so after that i will join both the side seam of the skirt together okay i will continue from the waistline then join it down then for the sleeve i will tighten it up with my overlocking machine then turn it in with a one inch okay or if you don't have a overlocking machine no cause for alarm all you have to do you turn in half an inch first then turn in one inch in okay after that then i'll hem the side then i'll come back to show you the this finish the finish look of the dress the neckline, the waist, the sleeve. This is the asymmetrical shape that is the hemline of the dress. And this is the side seam. This is the front piece. This is it. Inside. It's the size same waistline.
the zipper i didn't have the zipper to eat because after finishing it i discovered that it fits without adding zipper to it but when you are making it for your client and able to use zipper okay and always line your fabric except if it is a fabric that doesn't need lining but if you are using african print and devil to line it especially when you are making it for your clients okay so as we all know this is diy so far so good guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial and i hope the video has been helpful in one way or the other thank you for watching thank you so much I would love to hear from you in the comment section below regarding this tutorial. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to share it. Okay. Feel free to drop your question in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. More so, if you haven't joined this great family or you want to be seeing more of my videos, kindly click on the red subscribe button down below. Also, remember to turn on your notification bell for new videos. I love you all. I will see you in my next video. Bye.